Hello friends, welcome to Dhaka Eleven Institute. Today I am going to discuss about clock generator section. This is very important class today, though this class will be very short. But this class is very meaningful because sometimes we get uh, some motherboards with no display problem but we find out that this problem has been created pro problem has been happened uh, from uh, clock section so this clock section is very important so today I am uh, discussing about this and we can see this is desktop motherboard 2480 connector port and in 13 pin there will be 3.3 volt and this bolt will enter into this clock IC and when this clock IC will get voltages power and this clock IC will be activated and then when this clock IC will be activated there will be crystal frequency and there must have crystal frequency because without having or without getting crystal frequency this clock IC will not be activated and clock will not be generated so uh, this crystal is very important this crystal should be okay otherwise this section will not be activated so and there will be display problem no display problem okay so when this IC will get crystal frequency uh, and there when we'll try to measure the voltage we will get 1 to 2 volt and there in one side you will get some voltages in other side there will be less voltages then we can understand that this crystal is okay and after having after getting frequency then clock IC will actually pass clock to the other parts of motherboards clock is very important so uh, we can see that there are a lot of chips are here all the chips are very uh, needed of getting clock so clock signal is very important so uh, CPU is needed clock LAN IC not B Southwest RAM BIOS IO chip and PC slot all should have a clock and after having clock uh, signal then all the chips will be activated without this clock uh, uh, there will be problem no display problem so clock uh, section is very important and we always have to be very careful about this and if we are good enough to measure the clock uh, so we have to use the CRO then we can measure the clock signal and without uh, CRO we can also actually uh, measure by multimeter we can get 1 to 2 volt and this clock IC will actually generate 1 or 2 volt clock signal to all these ICs so after having that voltages then we can say that the all the ICs and the clock IC also fine clock section is fine so that's all thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and share and like and stay with me and make a comment thank you very much for joining